on his way to take this tough challenge inside the ropes, but not for the opening three minutes of this 10-round fight. a lot of consistency from him with the right hand. Gets rid of that effort. Look at that combination by Crusher. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Good step back, counter punch there. It's beautiful. Crusher's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. He digs in with an uppercut after blocking that shot away. Nice block. One, one. Just not there. Straight right hand off the mark. Just ten seconds to go in this round. Crusher's punch stats numbers are impressive. Soaring controllers. Keep it up. Nice work. He's He's winning the fight. He's winning. You gotta take it to him in this round. You gotta bring it. The left hook is working good. Just take it to him. A pass. Underway. Couldn't hit the elusive target with that straight right. Good way to protect the midsection. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. Rusher's doing well here with that two punch combination. Blocked by bad intention. He took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. Rusher still shaking after feeling that uppercut. Good right hand. Good block there by Crusher. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. Good solid shots with the combo downstairs. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Bad intentions is cranked by an uppercut. Took a go of it to the body, but came up empty. Keep your distance! Get your hands up! Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. And that's the end of round two.
physical things that you see, you know, the chest, the back. You know, this guy's got the strong muscle up top, you know, over his shoulders, in between his shoulders, his brain. And that's why he's picking the spot so well. That muscle is serving him, serving him to win this fight right now. Good work with the uppercuts. Nice job there. That's okay. There's another hey, left hand from him. Nice block by Bad Intentions. He got hit, but he sent it right back. He saw the uppercut, he took advantage. Throwing it out there. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Bad Intentions' his knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend. One of them is the block. He did it there well. Hey, keep your feet moving. Well targeted right hand by Crusher. There's the uppercut, one of my favorite punches, and it works that time for him. Defense easily turns into offense. Blocks a blow, sends an uppercut. A well-timed right hand by bad intentions. Bad intentions is banged by an uppercut. Goes up top with a right hand. Each man able to land an uppercut. Relax, relax. You can do this. You know you got this. Okay, listen. Don't let him fly on his feet. Keep moving forward. Keep him off the ground. Bad Intentions is out in front as we take a look at Teddy's scorecard for the first time tonight. But they're still in a mode of just feeling each other out. Neither man has taken control of this bout so far. Crusher's not firing off the big power punches. I gotta wonder why. Sometimes a guy is making a silent agreement in his mind that maybe if I don't hit him hard, he won't hit me hard back. He's not confident enough now to throw the punches without worrying about what to come back at him. Fine looking right hand by bad intentions. Right to the body. 90 seconds to go what in round number body? four. Punch, punch. Committing to the work downstairs with the left. A well-targeted classic one-two by Crusher. Flush right hand to the head. Crusher's cut is on the cheek, and you can see that it's bothering him a bit right now. That's something we'll keep our eye on. Bad attention, his work in training camp is now paying off. Do you see the accuracy and the effectiveness with that combination? And now targeting his opponent with the overhand right. Bad Intentions is giving his opponent fits right here. His head movement is making for such an elusive target. Yes, it is. Now the opponent has to make an adjustment. He has to realize that he's finding air. Rusher's back. Look at him here in the start of this round. Remember, he got tagged hard in that last round. Well, that's the reward you get when you have a good camp and you get yourself in top shape. Good effective work with that straight right hand. Lock, lock. That is a strong uppercut there. Good job with the left hand. It was sudden, it was fast, it was direct by Crusher.
missed the target with that hook. A little head knocking with that right hand. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Oh, a nice two-punch combo by Crusher. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. Minute and a half to go. Nice defense, good block by Crusher. Teddy, when you've been in the corner in your career and you have a charge who is not making a lot of contact, what do you tell him? The first thing I tell him, Joe, is shorten up your punches a little bit. The other thing I tell him is he's making you miss, so you know what, faint him a little bit. Get a false move out of him, get a premature move. And when he moves, then time him. Now you're gonna catch him. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Final 10 seconds of this fifth round. Crusher's all of a sudden finding his stride here. In that last round, we saw vast improvement. He's still down on your scorecard, right, Teddy? Yeah, I have him down a little bit. But he's, he's making a comeback here based on what we just saw. He's doing what he needs to do. You know, he's picking up the pace a little bit, and he's starting to get into the right range. To me, before, he was too far back. Now he's taking the steps to put himself in position where he can start doing the things he needs to do to get back in this, this fight. Is your fight. Keep it up. Keep scoring points. Keep throwing punches. All right, let's see. Okay. Here we are getting ready for the second half of this fight as we've reached the sixth round. Keep your hands up. Nice work on the right hand by bad intentions. Really wanted that uppercut, but just couldn't get it. See, that's some fine defense right there. I love that block by bad intentions. Crusher's got a little something coming back at him. A counterpunch score. Good work defensively by Crusher. Plus, he landed that counterpunch. Yeah, and he forced him to punch. He made him, he drew it out of him, and then he timed him beautifully. Good body shot. The right hand came home. Gets rid of that body shot. A crushing blow up top. I don't know if he has enough time to recover. That is boxing 101. A nice, crisp combination by Crusher. right back with some offense of his own. Nice block by Bad Intentions. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. Use the ring! Use the ring! And now he's targeting upstairs. Good defense just covering up down low. Comes with the straight right hand. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Three minutes gone by. When he gets back out there. I mean, just look at the close-up of that cut Yeah, he's got to use his legs. You're right, Joe. He's got to get out there and buy some time for those medicines to work. I need you to focus. Anticipate his punches, okay? Start of a fresh round, but I'll tell you this, Teddy. I don't know that we're going to see the end of this round the way he was damaged. 
Now, I would be surprised. I don't know that he could continue or that the referee would allow him to. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Flush right hand to the body. Targeting the uppercut, and it worked. Jab and a straight by Crusher. Downstairs with a right hand. Good block there by bad intentions. Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. Good block. Bad intentions is tagged by a hook. Crusher's trainers are doing a good job, aren't they, Teddy? Carol was rocked, but now look at him. Yeah, they're giving him the right advice. You know, they've made a little strategic change here, a little bit of an adjustment. That's what you like to see. Not just the fighter thinking, but the corner, the support team thinking. Bad intentions is tagged. Both men digging in with uppercuts. Well played, straight right hand. Now he's targeting upstairs. Boy, that worked out well with the uppercut. Ten seconds to go in the seventh. Zones in on that overhand right. And we come to the end of the round. This is anybody's fight. Here we are, the start of round number eight. Teddy, you've got him up slightly, but I don't know. I'm watching this fight, and I think at any moment it could turn. Yeah, this is like in the old days, you know, the corner might break off one of those ammonia capsules, one of those smell salts, you know, in the nose of a guy. Pick him up a little bit, bring him down the home stretch. Hey, you can't use those anymore, but you can use some stern, strong words. Get going. Come on, pick it up a little bit. Don't sleep now. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. There's a straight right hand. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Good accuracy with that uppercut. Bad intentions is smashed by a hook. Up top with the right hand. Well-targeted two-punch combo by Crusher. Really on the mark with that over-the-top shot with the right hand. Scoring well with that hook by bad intentions. Bad intentions, his right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. Unable to score with the hook. Oh, and a two-punch combo by Crusher. Crusher's right hand scores well. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Last 10 seconds of the eighth round. Bad intentions is right in the way of that hook to the head. Oh, that had a hurt. And round eight comes to an end. Looking uppercut that time. And he returns on that exchange. Firing off the uppercuts. Great exchange. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. Russia's showing you that sublime skill right now with that two punch combo. Cut right on the mark. Nice two-punch combo by Crusher. Keep 
moving. Gotta see those coming. Crusher's right hand working well that time. He scored well. Good-looking combo by Crusher. Bad intentions is on the receiving end of a hook. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Final chance, last 10 seconds of round nine. And that's the end of round nine. Bad intentions is approach to these remaining rounds is going to be critical. I believe, as you do, that he's trailing on the scorecards, but I also think that he's capable of turning things around. Well, right now it's so close, it's going to come down to the inside, I believe. Whoever does not make those solemn agreements, doesn't sign their name to the contract. You know, you get a little tired, it gets a little tough. You put your hands behind the guy, you hope the guy grabs and he goes along with it. Whoever doesn't go along with that, whoever brings their hands back and throws those punches, those two, those three, those four extra punches, they're gonna win the fight. They have given a lot tonight. Now one more opportunity to give a little more. The final round is upon us. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. Lands flush with the two-punch combo by Crusher. Crusher's being so very effective, punching in combination. And that's what you want. He's got pretty good hand speed. Might as well use that hand speed. No better way to use it than putting them together. He's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. A target on his head, and he places the hook right on it. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Bad Intentions has got to deal with now a cut eye. Hits him in the mug with the right. Crusher's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. He had his eyes set on the uppercut, but was unable to land it. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own a left-hand score. And the ref looks at him and says, no headbutting, hands out the warning. Bad intentions, his combination punching is working well here. Crusher's right hand scores well that time. There you go. Boy, sharp two-punch combination by Crusher. Oh, he is. Did you see that? Great goings here of this round, and he goes down. Can he survive it? continue on here and if he's gonna stay in this fight now he's got to avoid his opponent like the black plague throughout the night right up until that final bell moments ago both these men tried to determine their